Hey, this is Danny and I'm going to show you how you can create a GitHub repository and then push your local files into that repository using the command line and then clone them on any other computer using GitHub's Git Bash. You would have to download Git for Windows before this step and I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below. So all you have to do is go into the description, click on that link and install Git on your computer. Once you've done that, you can follow along. You would need a GitHub account to do this and I already have one so I'm going to head over to it by typing in github.com and this is going to take you to a page that looks like this and if you look at the top right corner you would see a small plus click that plus and select new repository this is going to take you to a page that looks like this now you can type in the name of your new repository you can give this any name preferably one without any spaces or if there's two different words you can use a hyphen in between i'm going to call this danny website and uh, make this a private repository and uh, you can either initialize this or not initialize this that depends that that's your choice completely and i'm going to click on create repository and it's going to create a repository for me named danny website and uh, the next thing you would have to do is click on this little button here it's going to copy this entire link so once that's done you can go ahead into the folder wherein you have your project now this is the local folder on your computer that you're going to push to your github repository so once you're inside that folder, you're going to right click and select git bash here. It's going to open up a small terminal that looks like this. And you would have to type in the words git clone and right click. It's going to paste that link we just copied into our terminal. Hit enter and it's going to create a new folder here named Danny website. In your case, it's going to create a folder with the name of your GitHub repository. So once that's done, you can close this terminal and open up the website. So now this is where you're going to put all of your files in, in order to push it to your GitHub repository. So I'm going to go back outside, I'm going to copy everything that I'm going to push to my uh, repository, copy them and paste them inside here. Now once I've pasted all of this inside, I'm going to right click and open up git bash here again. So now as you can see, we are inside the folder that we're going to push to our repository. So all you would have to do is type in the words git add space capital a this is going to take all of the files and add it to our repository so hitting enter would show you warnings in some cases i'm just going to go ahead and ignore this because it won't make any difference to me so now that you have added all of your files to the upload queue you can go ahead and commit these changes by committing these changes you are basically telling git that these changes have been committed and you are ready to push them to your github repository so to do that you would type in the words git commit git commit and hit enter and it would open up a file that looks like this so this file would basically contain a list of all of the files that are to be committed now as you can see there are hashes in front of each line these hashes would basically comment that entire line out so in order to make sure that these changes are implemented you would have to go ahead and uncomment each of these lines uh, the good thing about visual studio code is that you can select all of all of these comments and you can just hold down the keys Control k and u and that would uncomment all of the those lines at once and you can go ahead and save them and the minute you close this file you can see that all of these changes have been committed to inside our terminal once that's done you can go ahead and type in the words git push this is going to take all of your files and push it into your github repository that's going to take a minute depending on the size of your repository so once that's done you can go ahead and open up github again and refresh this page and as you can see our entire directory is now on github so now all you would have to do in order to clone this directory in some other computer is to click on this little button here copy that link i'm just going to demonstrate how you can clone this in another folder using my own computer so i'm going to go into another folder right here so i'm just going to go into my root directory here and i'm going to open up git bash here again and i'm going to open up git bash here and i'm going to type in git clone and right click it's going to paste that link in there and then i'm going to hit enter and it's going to clone that entire website into this folder so once that's done we can go ahead and start making changes to any of the files here and once you've made changes you can go ahead and commit to these changes and push them back into the directory and anybody else working on these files can clone that and continue from the last save point. So that's how you push files to your GitHub repository and clone it on any other computer and start making changes to it. So if you found that helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments, leave it in the suggestions below. And thank you for watching.